Hey there, John. Welcome back to the channel. Oh, look, I see a village back there right by my head. Look at that. And then there's a uh, busted portal, another portal right there. We're going to go explore those in just a second. I just wanted to jump on just to, uh, I haven't recorded in a while and I don't know why. Actually, I have been recording. I've been recording a ton on my other channel, which is a podcast. I know podcast. That's weird. It has nothing to do with Minecraft. It has to do with movies and TV shows and music a uh, little more nostalgic stuff than gameplay, which unfortunately it hasn't been doing as well on here, even though I really enjoy making gameplay videos. We've been getting very few to no, no views and it's been really, really, really discouraging. It's clearly not making content regularly and I should be. And that's the only way to really, uh, that's the only way to really uh, get more views is to, to actually create more content. And I haven't been. Uh, and I haven't been, and it's it's absolutely my fault because uh, the more I create, the more the algorithm goes, oh, look, this guy is making actual content. We should actually promote him. And uh, I'm not. <laughs> and so it's my fault. And um, it's, it's just been a little discouraging, and I really want to get back into it. Uh, so I figured I would just create this little random video and see what happens. Uh, so... What I'm doing here is literally just chatting with you guys, saying hi, miss you guys all. I, I love, I love that you guys have stuck around. For those of you that are, that have been around for, uh, for the long haul, I love that you guys have been around, and I appreciate every single last one of you. And for those of you that are, uh, that are new here, I actually appreciate uh, you guys actually taking a chance and watching a new video from a random content creator as I break my legs falling down that little drop there. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we're going to go explore this world a little bit, but I'm just going to chat today. We're not going to really do anything in particular. We don't have a, a goal in mind. We're just going to hang out and shoot the, you know what, and and see where it goes. Okay, I'm going to make myself some stone tools. You guys make your stone axe this way or this way? I usually do it the first way I tried it. I usually don't do it the other way, but whatever. It's each his own, I guess. I've seen people do it in both directions. Oh, hey, spider. Where'd you come from? All right. <laughs> All right, we're going to go explore over there. Uh, we do have to go down this little embankment here. Is there any coal over here? Oh, there is a... That's a piece of crappy copper. I don't need copper. I don't need no stinking copper. It's useless to me right now. We'll use that later on. But for now, let's go go for a swim. So, yeah. So, on the, uh, the podcast, uh, we were talking about... Uh, Am I the, uh, you know what, the, the not so nice person in the room? <laughs> and I can't say the word on this channel because that's not what this channel is for. But uh, there was one question in particular that or a story that we read that actually got to me. And it's an older story that I'd heard before. But this one was uh, one that kind of had a result that turned it out, turned out for the, I don't know if it's for the positive, but the, the creator of the post, the original poster, uh, was called out for the nonsense they were doing. And you let me know what you guys think. I'm, I'll read the story to you guys. I'm not going to read it. I'm just going to kind of go off to off of memory from what I remember the story being. Oh, let's go get, get ourselves some sheep because we need a bed. Three sheep will do. Three sheep will do. But four sheep will be nicer. All right, let's go see what's up here. I don't think I can get the gold if there's any gold there, but there's hopefully there's a chest. There is a chest. Oh, some uh, flint, you know, that, that useful resource of flint. I don't need right this very moment. Okay, anything else? Good? No, nothing good? It's all crap? It's all crap. All right, nothing I need right now. That's late later in the game. I did see a village over here somewhere. I could be mistaken. Oh, no, there's a village right there. Look, there's just a house just floating up, up top there. We're going to walk around. We're going to make a few things, though. Oh, we need some more stone. We used up all of our stone. Oh, we'll, we'll get some stone over there. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be walking slow until then. Anyway, so as the story goes, the original poster, I believe it's a dad. Uh, you guys all remember when we all went on lockdown for uh, for uh, COVID, right? And everybody had their own ways of dealing with that. And uh, some people dealt really well with it. Some people had a really hard time and they struggled with it, especially if you had to do school uh, from home. How many of you guys had to do school from home? Uh, so my kids, I guess I have kids because I'm an old geezer. <laughs> uh, my kids, I'm going to get this just for XP. Uh, they they had to do uh, school from home. Uh, and one did really, really well. And one of them, he didn't struggle, but he didn't like it as much. You know what I mean? But then we had friends that really struggled because either mom and dad worked all the time, even if it was from home. 
um, they were unable to assist or help, or they're just not, everybody's a good teacher. You know what I mean? So you can't, I don't like to blame parents because it's not really a parent's fault. That's not their job. That's not their profession. They don't know how to teach very well when it comes to education. You know how to teach life lessons, stuff like that. That's different. But when it comes to like teaching math and English, it might not be their strong suit. So they're going to feel uncomfortable with teaching those things. And it's really hard to help out. And as much as, you know, you have your teacher's accessibility, all that good stuff there, uh, it's not always, it wasn't always the easiest thing to, uh, to get. Uh, to get help for let me see, let's make a bed really quick but but got ourselves a bed all right uh let's go up here where was i going with the story oh yeah i was gonna tell the story about this this kid uh, do we have any wood we do have some wood all right uh let's cook let's cook the, the mutton those are kind of useless but i mean i'll put one on does this have a curse of anything no okay cool why do i hear lava there's like lava near me anyway there's a village right there we're gonna go visit that in just a second um anyway so so this oh there's lava hey hey lava Oh, there's some coal, though. Did that block it up? Any mobs? Let's get this coal really fast and get the heck out of here. Let's go. I'm not prepared for that. That's just copper. Okay. That was fast. All right, let's get this. And let's go on to the village. All right. So this kid was having a hard time. He was dealing with uh, dealing with homeschooling, and he was having a hard time doing it. So uh, he played a lot of games, as I know a lot of you guys did. I know I did. I played a ton of games. I played as many as I possibly could. we got to go get up to that house up there somehow. Uh, they have two bells. That's kind of cool. Uh, so he, <coughs> he caught himself playing a lot of games. This kid is nine, by the way, nine years old. And oh, I guess I could have just got a bed right there. <laughs> uh, let's get that, that, that lantern there. Um, so he ends up playing a lot of games and ends up staying really late playing games because, you know, you finish school and you don't have anywhere to go. <laughs> You're kind of trapped at home. I mean, you go to the backyard. If you have a backyard, you go to the front yard. If you have a front yard. But for the most part, you're stuck at home, right? You're not going anywhere, maybe walking to the park or something for a little bit. You're not there all day. So kid ends up playing a lot of games, which is fine. I'm totally fine with playing a lot of games. Hey, hey, villagers. Yo, where's your village? Way up there? That's kind of weird. No, that's my bed. Is it nighttime yet? Okay, there we go. Sorry, guys. Anyway, so he ends up being really tired in the morning and waking up at like, you know, eight, nine o'clock after school technically starts, but it doesn't really matter. I mean, did it really matter then? Like, unless you didn't, like you missed the actual class, like a lot of the days were, were kind of self-taught. You were at home and you didn't have an actual class every single day for everybody. Not every, not everybody had class every single day. So you could wake up whenever you wanted to, as long as you got your work done, you know, not a big deal. So anyway, so he, was staying up late and dad was getting upset that he was staying up late. Well, I guess dad wasn't monitoring the fact that he was staying up late because honestly, I mean, if my kids were staying up late and I knew that they weren't able to stay uh, to get up on time for school, um, I just make sure they got to bed a little bit sooner. But during COVID, I really didn't care because honestly, they were literally stuck at home and it sucked and I let them do whatever they wanted to as far as long as they got their schoolwork done. And this kid was getting his schoolwork done. He was just tired in the morning. So he wasn't getting his schoolwork done at the dad's satisfaction. Does that make any sense? So so uh, uh, dad decides one day when kid is asleep or I don't know exactly when he pulls this off that he's going to... Oh, the game that the kid is playing is this. This game right here. He's playing the wonderful world of Minecraft. He spent uh, um, a year building this amazing map. Uh, this world for himself, you know, as, as you do. I mean, I have my map that I've been building since 2013, 2012. And if somebody hurt that, I think I'd be really upset. I'm sure I'd be more than really upset. I would be furious. Anyway, so dad decides one night while well, kid is asleep. We'll just call him kid at this point. There's no names really. Uh, nine-year-old kid. Remember that he's nine. Uh, I don't care if he's 19, uh, to be honest with you. It's not, it's not cool what dad just did. He decides he's going to log into, uh, son's Minecraft account and delete that saved world. Delete it. So he does. He logs into Minecraft. Doesn't obviously load into the world. He just opens up the last world that was open, which was the world that he's been working on this entire time and deletes it now see this is the the hard part for me because i know a lot of people that don't play video games don't understand the meaning of all this they don't understand what this right here what i'm doing right now is they just think it's just me being a child and playing a game i mean yes at the the root of it i am playing a game just like anybody that's playing football or soccer or basketball is playing a game but because 
this game means something to me and what I'm doing, not right this very moment, but on the worlds I really care about. What I'm doing in those worlds is something meaningful to me, something I've built, not necessarily with my own hands, but technically with my own hands. I'm using my mouse and my keyboard or a controller or a touchpad, whatever it may be. Uh, it's something I envision and I created. Like I built these great big castles and battle arenas and mini games and things like that. And this kid had built this giant castle and was super proud of it, right? I mean, as you are, that's what you do. When you're in Minecraft, you build the things you built and then you're, you're, I mean, I'd hope you're proud of what you built. Uh, most people are pretty proud of what they built. Um, I'm always proud of watching what my kids built because I build because I think it's really, really cool that they have some creative skills. And even if you're not creative, if just the fact that you've taken the time to play on here and enjoy it to the point where you've made something for yourself, a world for yourself. Well, kid was upset, obviously. I mean, as anybody would be. And, uh, you know, just he didn't eat dinner that night, didn't talk to mom or dad that night. You just just physically just clearly upset. And I don't blame him one single bit. Dad didn't understand. He wrote this up on the MIN, you know what, a, a butt, <laughs> uh, a Reddit post, and the comments came pouring in. Uh, yes, he was the butt in this situation because this is to me the equivalent of if my child had brought home something that they drew, you know how you, uh, if you have your proud mama or papa, you hang up uh, said kids schoolwork or uh, a drawing or something on the refrigerator. I know not everybody had that good experience, um, but uh, that's just what you do when you're proud of your child and uh, of taking that same artwork and tearing it up. Can you imagine the heartache and the trauma? I mean, this is the type of thing I feel that causes uh, just straight up hatred or distrust, if anything else, towards that parent, because how can you trust them with anything you love uh, ever again, quite honestly? Uh, I, I, I don't understand the dad's thought process. I don't understand a lot of people's thought process when it comes to this kind of thing, when they, they think like they literally think it's just a game. It's not a big deal, but it is a big deal. I mean, I've spent literal hours, shoot, physical days, if not weeks and months, if you add it up all the time together, working on my my one world, my one map. And I have multiple maps like that where I've spent years building them. No, it's not full years at a time, but, you know, an hour here, an hour there, it adds up. You can probably count that up as, like, actual months of time. And to me, for somebody to take that and destroy it and think that that's their, their good enough punishment, it's like the kid that he did anything really wrong. He wasn't being, like, a bully or anything like that where you're going to take something, and even then, geez, geez, I don't know if I could I could take something of my child's and break it. Like if your child finished building a Lego, like if you guys built, finished building a Lego, and then you took that Lego and just smashed it on the ground. <laughs> could you imagine? I, I mean, I couldn't. I couldn't imagine doing that to my kids. So I don't know what that dad was thinking. It was just selfish thought, or, hey, I'm going to punish him by doing this thing. And uh, it turned out to be a, a nightmare for said dad because he ended up getting uh, put on blast on all social media, especially on Reddit. And, uh, yeah, th there was articles and articles written about this dad. And it turns out that uh, he was clearly in the wrong because, or he realized he was clearly in the wrong and didn't realize what he had done. And it's unfortunate because, honestly, I, I couldn't imagine, oh, look, there's a, a, a temple right there. Um, Ocean Monument right there. I'm not equipped for that right now. Uh, let's build ourselves a boat and head out that direction. <laughs> We're going to go a different way. Uh, yeah, I mean, I just wanted to share that story with you guys. I want to know what you guys think. If somebody were to take your Minecraft world and just annihilate it, would you care? Would it be a big deal? I mean, shoot, I I don't know. I, I get, maybe, maybe I'm just being overly sensitive because I, I do... I do appreciate this game and I appreciate what you can build out of this game. Even if it's something I don't like that somebody is building, I can appreciate the work that goes into it and the amount of effort that it takes to do anything in this game. You know what I mean? I mean, even the easy stuff, like what I'm doing now, just the basic gathering materials and running around until I find myself a, a nice place to live because that's always my beginning goal is always try to find a nice place to live. I have a hard time with picking because I'm indecisive. I end up with a, a a full inventory by the time I end up getting to wherever I'm getting to end up having to dump items even because 
I'm so indecisive. Let's go to the desert over there. I always like the desert. You know why I like the desert? I like the desert because it doesn't rain. In real life, it does rain in the desert. Oh, there's a chest below us. Hold on a second. Is there a chest? There is. Ooh, let's grab what we can. Almost, almost. No. <laughs> almost didn't make it. Okay. Got it. We got a bunch of random crap. Okay. <laughs> that was kind of pointless. It was a bunch of gold, but whatever. All right, that, that's why I like the, in the real In real life, it does rain in the desert, obviously. Uh, that's a, this is just a beach. It's not a desert. That sucks. Uh, we'll keep going. But in Minecraft, it does not rain in the desert. And that makes my day because I don't like the rain. And I know I could just turn off the rain, but I feel that's, you know, that's one step closer to cheating and I don't care for it. So, and don't get me wrong. I do play in creative sometimes and turn all that stuff off, but I'm playing in survival right now and I want to enjoy the game the way it was intended to enjoy. Oh, there's another beach over there. Let's go that way. You guys like the new music in Minecraft? I like the original music of Minecraft. It just makes me super nostalgic. I wish you could put a bed on the boat and sleep because it's going to be nighttime before I make it to shore. And I'm going to have to stay offshore until the day. No mobs, no mobs, no mobs, no mobs, no mobs. Oh, we're going to head over that way when we're done, when we wake up. It's not nighttime yet? Oh, it is now. It is now. I think I'm just going to do a little bit of clearing over here. Let's throw this chest down right there. Let's throw that up there. That has bending on it. Put that there. Throw that there. Put some meat up there. One, two, three, four, five. Clear this off a little bit. Okay. Well, I guess this is our little makeshift home. It's not a house. It's just like a place. <laughs> It's a, place, it's a safe place, kind of, sort of, you know, where things can still get us, but not as easily. Uh, we'll make it a little bit harder. There, now it's really hard to get in here. Anyways, there is a shipwreck right there behind us. Um, if you guys want me to do more videos like this where I'm just kind of chatting with you guys, there is that ocean monument over there. We're going to make our way over there eventually. Uh, but yeah, if you guys want to do more videos like this where I'm just kind of goofing around and chatting with you guys, telling you guys little stories that I've heard, we'll see what you guys think of the stories that I'm putting out. Uh, let me know in the comment section below or just by simply giving me a thumbs up and we'll continue doing these. I kind of want to do them. Little, little stories, little Minecraft stories. Uh, not necessarily about Minecraft, but I mean, I, I don't know if I can find that many. <laughs> so I, I will try. But for the most part, um, I do have some other ones that are really gossipy and I don't really want to get into that. But this one in particular just kind of made me a little upset because of what the parent did to that child. Uh, let me know if I'm wrong or let me know if that parent was wrong in the comment section below. And uh, yeah, till the next one. See ya.